हेलो वन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू होस्ट द लारवल वेबसाइट एज सबडमेन इन दी होस्टिंगर सर्वर ओके इन दी होस्टिंगर होस्टिंग सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव दी होस्टिंगर होस्टिंग अकाउंट प्रीमियम वेब होस्टिंग अकाउंट सो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट दी सबडमेन अंडर स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन दिस इज माई प्राइमरी डोमेन सो अंडर दिस डोमेन आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट वन सबडोमेन लाइक ई कॉमर्स डॉट स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू होस्ट वन ऑफ दी वेबसाइट ओके सो आई एम गोइंग टू डू इट स्टेट अवे सो आई एम गोइंग आई वॉन्ट टू होस्ट दी वेबसाइट अंडर स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन आई विल क्लिक ऑन होस्टिंग एंड आई विल क्लिक ऑन दिस टू वेबसाइट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन दिस वेबसाइट स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू होस्ट दी वेबसाइट अंडर स्टैक डेवलपर्स डॉट इन so i am going to uh, create this subdomain okay i am going to create this subdomain uh, under uh, here is option of subdomain under domains i am going to add here e-commerce dot stack developers dot in okay i'm going to create okay so this subdomain created successfully i can see it has been created uh e-commerce okay so uh, see i i'm going to create this sub subdomain with some other name like uh, i'm going to make it like e-commerce dot stack developers dot in so that we it, it is easily uh understandable in future like e-commerce dot stack developers dot in okay i'm going to create this subdomain and also i am going to set the custom folder for this subdomain okay i am going to make it like uh, same uh, name i am going to give like ecommerce.stackdevelopers.in uh, okay uh, so uh, and here it is not required okay so ecommerce.stackdevelopers.in and it's uh, it's directory we are going to create this folder ecommerce.stackdevelopers.in under stackdevelopers.in okay so now i am going to create so it has been created okay so now we are going to add files under this one ecommerce.stackdevelopers.in so i am going to uh, files here and we'll click on file manager and we'll click on uh, assess all files of premium web hosting so i will click on domains and here you can see the stackdevelopers.in and public and html and here our folder has been created ecommerce.stackdevelopers.in so i will upload all the files here in this folder by clicking here so i am going to select the zip file uh, in which my complete website is there okay so i am going to upload my website here like this is my website ecommerce.stackdevelopers.in so i am going to upload this website so it will take few seconds depends upon the speed of the internet so the website has been uploaded and now i'm going to extract this one i'm going to extract uh, under this uh, folder itself i'm going to uh, extract here so the uh, files have been extracted here and you can see it has been extracted so i'm going to uh, select all the files and will move these files under the root of this one okay so i'm going to uh, move all the files under uh, this one main root file okay i'm going to move all these files i think we able to move now the files are now located inside the ecommerce.stackdevelper.in okay so we can delete uh, this folder ecommerce.stackdevelper.in from here delete and also we can delete this files folder that is not required okay so our project uh, is now uploaded okay so now uh, we need to make connection but first of all we need to create the database okay so i'm going to upload the database here here in php my admin here is the management i'm going to create the new database here okay so i can uh, create uh, whatever uh, i require the database name i will create the e-commerce uh, and username also i'm going to create the e-commerce password you can select the strong password as you as your own choice okay and i'm going to create this one so after creating the database we are going to 
import uh, we are going to use its php my admin to import the mysql file of our subdomain okay uh, so i'm going to uh, use this one e-commerce i'm going to enter enter it and here i'm going to see i'm going to import the mysql file of my laravel website uh, so here I'm going to check uh, this one stack developers uh, which one I think uh, maybe this is the correct web uh, okay so I'm going to pick this one import so it has been imported and now uh, we can check here I'm going to refresh here. Okay, it has been done. Okay, so now uh, we are going to update the connection file there. Okay, so dot env file we are going to update here. Uh, to uh, we are going to edit this env file to update the username as well as the password. Okay so username database as well as the password we are going to update so we are going to update the database username and our uh, and password here in the dot env file that is located at the root of the website okay so whatever we have given here uh, this is the username as well as the database and password strong password that we have given at the time of uh, creating the database okay username password we are going to give here for the security reason i am not showing the password but we are going, going to give the password here so we able to update the password so we able to update uh, the database connection with the password as well as the database and the username now we are going to run the website i'm going to run here uh, as e-commerce dot stack developers dot in i'm going to see whether our website runs or not as subdomain okay so actually some issue has come i think the issue is with the php version uh, it is not running so we are going to check the php version of our subdomain okay uh, so uh, i'm going to put one file and we'll check the php version here i'm going to add the new file and we'll add php info.php we'll create this file and here i'm going to add uh, here some syntax php info function built-in function of php to check the php version that the server is supporting so i'm going to run this file here php info.php so it is supporting the php version 8 but we require the less version uh, so i think we need to update its stss uh, file and uh, so that it will run that version so i already bookmark one of the uh, hostinger help that uh, from that we can able to update the html version so i'm going to uh, open that uh, so uh, this is the file that we are required to add uh, we require the 7.3 php version 7.3 okay so i'm going to copy this one and will paste in our hss file and then we'll find that it will update or not okay so let's see so i'm going to include first one in public folder and we'll see if it updates uh, so we have finally updated the php version of our website of our subdomain to 7.3 we have added the syntax so uh, this syntax uh, helps us to update the php version 7.3 okay so you can check here that it's now a uh, version has been updated to php version 7.3 okay that that we require for our subdomain for our laravel website that we have uploaded as subdomain and see the website is now running but there is some issue with the uh, its uh, css okay that we are going to resolve okay but our website is now running on different server uh, in subdomain has been created and our website is uploaded and is also running on the correct php version just the thing is that we need to correct the layout of this website so after correcting the pass after making some efforts the uh, subdomain is now working fine you can see 
uh, it is showing the products okay uh, so you can click any of the listing page as well and you can see the products uh, okay so uh, so you can also follow these steps uh, for creating the subdomain in the hosting server or any other server uh, most of the time the steps uh, remain the same okay uh, so uh, if you have any doubts you can surely contact me that's all for now have a nice time goodbye